friends and family in Jesus. Before we get into the word this morning, I want to ask you a question, a very personal question. There where you are sitting or standing right now, after you open your eyes this morning, did you at all sit for two, three, five minutes and just speak to the Lord, just, just tell Him how much you love Him? Did you share your heart with the Lord, your heart of gratefulness and thanksgiving? Or was this morning just a rush, a mad rush? Was the first thing after you opened your eyes this morning that you did to take your Bible or was the first thing that you did after you opened your eyes to take your phone and go through messages? And you can tell a lot about the heart of someone by the first five minutes after they've woken up in the morning. First thing they reach out to shows you in their life what their biggest love is. So I'm not asking this this morning, family in Jesus, to place any condemnation on you if you haven't yet spoken to the Lord today or if you haven't yet picked up your Bible today. But I want to share something very, very personal with my family this morning. Last night, I, I had one of the most intense dreams that I have ever had in my 43 years on the face of this earth. I can remember that when I was five years old, I had a dream one night that shook my very spirit and my soul. It, it, it almost pulled me apart inside. I woke up screaming at the top of my lungs. My, my parents came running into the, the room. I was so traumatized by that dream when I was five years old that I couldn't even explain to them what I dreamt. But standing here today, I can still clearly remember every single detail in that dream. And I was only five years old. And the dream that I had last night, brother and sister in Christ, was as intense as that dream that I had when I was five years old. And I want to share that dream this morning because together with that dream, I received a, a scripture that I want to share with everyone today. Now I know I've said it a lot over the time that the Lord has blessed us to be here, and I know Pastor Roy said it quite a few times, and and, and, and I know that, that there are a lot of um, disciples and teachers and preachers and prophets that are proclaiming this. And I've been hearing it with my physical ear, but last night in that dream, I heard it with my spiritual heart. So I, in the dream, I, I was sleeping. And I was lying on a bed in a very, very dark room and it, it was just a bed that was illuminated, that was lit. And in that dream, I heard a voice call out my name, just my name, to wake me up. It was just Jock. And I sat up in that dream and in front of me, in this dark room, at the edge of the bed, there was a huge um, hourglass that was also lit up, but, but slowly, it was slowly lighting up from the bottom, working its way up the light to the top. And I could see that this hourglass, it was, it was a huge hourglass at the edge of the bed, and I was looking at this, and, and I was, I had this feeling of shock in me because it wasn't a physical hourglass that was there. I could see that it was, it was spiritual. 
And as this hourglass was lighting up from the bottom, I could see that the bottom of it was was full. It was full of um, it was full of the, the, the sand that had fallen through. And I moved closer and closer to the hourglass. And as I got close enough to the bottom of it that was almost completely full, I saw that the sand that was seeping through the middle of that hourglass and falling into the bottom, that sand, every piece of sand that fell to the bottom was a name. It was the name of a soul. And I looked up to the top of the hourglass and there was a, a minute amount of sand still in the top of that hourglass. And when I saw that, I, I saw a hand appear to the top of the hourglass and and tap it on the top to, to make the, the last bit of sand flow through quicker. And as the last bit of sand, which was also names, names of people, flowed through and fell to the bottom, I heard a voice say to me, the time is almost up. And the hourglass disappeared and I woke up. And the Lord dropped a, a scripture in my spirit. And that scripture is out of 1 Peter chapter 4 from verse 7. The Bible says here, the end of all things is near. The end of all things is near. Therefore be alert and of sober mind so that you may pray. Family in Jesus, I felt that, you know, we are together as, a, as, as the body of Christ here throughout the week and Sundays and, and, and we all love God and we all spend time with each other and, and spend time with God. But the word prayer from Hebrew to, to English means conversation with God. Then it comes to mind after this prayer, this um, um dream that I had last night and, and this scripture falling in, into my spirit, a thought came to my mind is that, you know, I, I pray a lot. I pray a lot. And I know some of us sitting in, the, in, in the, the congregation prays a lot as well. But in that prayer, how much of that prayer is actually a conversation? H how much of that prayer is me Telling God what I want Him to do in my life or, or asking for things or, or, or requesting the Lord to solve problems for me. How, how much of that prayer is that? And how much of that prayer is just speaking to my Father in heaven? Just, just having a conversation with Him and, and telling Him how much I desire to, to be with Him and see Him and how much... How grateful I am of, of His mercy and His grace and, and, and how much of that time do I spend with my Father in, in, in heaven telling Him how absolutely in love with Him I am. The Bible goes on here. In verse 8 it says, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve each other as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. And this scripture just goes deeper and deeper and deeper and and here the scripture is, is teaching us the end is near. Family in Jesus, brother and sister in Christ. The end is, is very close, very. What am I, what am I using the, the last little bit of time that the Lord is blessing us with here on earth? What am I using that time for? Am I, am I using it to still promote myself and 
and how good I am in a certain area and, and, and pushing my other brothers and sisters one side when they've got a, a similar gift to mine or even a better gift. Am I finding myself standing in competition with my brother and sister in, in Christ or, or am I finding myself standing in unity with them? Family in Jesus, I don't know how to say this with, with more words that, that, that can drive more impact into our lives other than saying that I felt in that dream that the Lord was warning me and I'm not standing here this morning proclaiming to be a, a prophet that, that Everybody must now follow and listen to and, and thus saith the Lord. But what I am saying is that I felt my spirit last night being taken by the hand of God and driving into my spirit the urgency that, that we don't have a lot of time left. And I woke up disturbed this morning because just yesterday I... I presented a message to, to people and, and, and they were scoffing at that message. They were laughing at it. They, they had no urgency to, to, to run to the cross of Jesus. There was no urgency to look after their souls. They were laughing at the word of God. It had no meaning in their lives at all. We are definitely in the last days. I woke up this morning very disturbed, family in Jesus, so disturbed that, that, that I even felt with, within my heart that I might not even see my twin boys go to university. That is how close I am sensing in my spirit that, that the end is very near. We don't have to be very, even very educated to just look on the news every single day and see how much the world is changing and conforming to, to this one world order. You don't even have to be very educated to see that something is happening. My twin boys that are 11, 12 years old, they even picked it up on a news report the other day. They even said to me, Dad, Jesus is, is coming back very soon because listen what is happening on the news. The scripture goes on in verse 11. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength that God provides so that in all things, God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Family in Jesus. When you open your eyes tomorrow, what is the first thing going to be that you are going to do and say? Because the very first thing that you and I do and say tomorrow morning when we open our eyes is going to determine how we are going to walk with God the rest of the day. If the first thing is going to be for me to grab my phone and, and look at messages and texts and, and, and go onto the news and see how the market is doing, the rest of my day is going to be governed by that. But if I open my eyes tomorrow morning and I have a desire to move closer to my Father in heaven because I know the time is near, then the rest of that day, everyone I speak to, I will speak to in that urgency as well. Taking them and telling them that you don't have a lot of time left, my friend. Jesus is on his way, he's coming, he's preparing. He's mounting that horse that Revelation speaks of. He's dressed in his armor, he's, he's got his sword, he's ready. He's just waiting 
for Father God to give that command. Family in Jesus, I want to plea with everyone here this morning. In Jesus' name, let us lay aside all these other petty, pitiful, small, going nowhere issues in life. Please let us stop competing with one another. And let us stand together in unity. Let us work. The time is short. Family in Jesus, all that the enemy wants to do is drive a wedge between us so that unity of the Holy Spirit is split so that we will not be successful in saving souls in our town. I am calling out today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, to every single one of the disciples sitting in this church, in this town this morning. I am calling out to you. And I am asking brother and sister in Christ, stand up today please in Jesus' name. Let us take hands and let us stand in unity. And let us fight this good fight. Because the time is near. The scripture, chapter 4, verse 7, the end of all things is near. I know what I saw and experienced in that dream last night. That the Lord is asking us in our spirits to go for souls. That sand that was going through that hourglass, each one of those droplets of sand was a name. It was a soul. And there's going to come an end to those names, family in Jesus. And when that trumpet sounds, we want as many names as possible to stand with us so that we can go to that eternal place that Jesus has prepared for us. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord, I am crying out to you today with everything inside of me, Father. I am calling out to you for mercy. I'm calling out, Father God, that your mercy will, will manifest tangibly among us, Lord Jesus, that we may realize that the time is short, Lord Jesus, and that life there is no more time, Lord, to bicker and quarrel with one another and to argue and to fight, Lord, and to compete. That my ministry is better than the next guy's ministry and I can do this one thing better than the other person can do it. And, and if I am doing this, this one ministry, why is someone else also doing it? And Lord, it is so meaningful. We have a shortage of laborers, Lord Jesus. So let us invite all of those that want to labor in your kingdom. Let us not compete with them, Lord Jesus. Please, I pray, Lord Jesus, I know the time is short, Lord, I know. I am even sensing in my spirit right now, Lord, what is going to happen if, while we are still praying this prayer, that trumpet sounds, Lord Jesus. Then it's the end, Lord. It's done. Am I ready, Lord Jesus? Are the people that you have, have sent me to, to be shepherded over, Lord, or are they ready, Lord Jesus? Have I told them the truth? Have I led them to the cross of Jesus or have I led them astray, Lord Jesus? Lord, we cannot play with this anymore. I beg of you today, Lord, that you will forgive us for wasting time, Lord. I pray that you will forgive us, Lord Jesus. If we haven't spoken the truth, Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help us. That after this prayer where we have said amen, that we will cherish every moment that we still have, Lord. And that we will get up and work, Lord Jesus. I pray today, Lord, against the spirit of apathy. 
in this town of ours, Lord Jesus, that it will disintegrate, that you will destroy it, Lord. And I pray that you will bless us, Lord, with hard-working spirits. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Call on the name of the Lord today. Everybody who calls unto the name of the Lord will be saved. And I call on to you today, Lord Jesus. Save us, please, Lord. Save us from our, our useless thoughts, Lord, and, 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 and going nowhere attitudes, Lord. I pray, save us, please, Lord Jesus. Help us to focus on the truth of your word, Lord Jesus, and focus on the vision of getting souls to your cross, Lord. Pray that I will deny myself and that we will deny ourselves, Lord. Stop focusing on the me and the I. Start focusing on my neighbor, Lord, and, and on Jesus. I worship you today, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I pray the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ will anoint us and bless us with the gifts that we need to effectively bring in disciples for Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray and I, I ask this in your almighty, all-powerful name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I pray that you will go into this day with that picture in your, in your spirit that there's an hourglass that is almost run out. Please, family in Jesus, look at this in an urgent manner. Don't let the enemy lie to you today and say there's still lots of time left. We can relax and we can still carry on as we want. Please, family in Jesus, the Bible is clear that that trumpet sound is going to catch everyone off guard. Everyone. The Bible says that in a blink of an eye it's going to happen. I don't think there's anybody that's going to be ready. Please, family in Jesus, try as much as you can today and the next day and the days that we still have to focus everything. On, on, on Jesus, everything. Let us take ourselves out of the picture. People don't want to hear about us. They don't want to hear about what we have done or what we are doing right now. They want to hear about what Jesus did and what Jesus is still doing now. So I pray today that the Holy Spirit will bless you, guide you, lead you, teach you, and that you will be willing to follow him and adhere to his commands. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.